Welcome to the Grizzled Geek and Review for November 24th, 2017. I'm Mike. I'm Doug. And this is our Thanksgiving week. Yeah. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. Uh, there's going to be a short news section here. Yeah. We're trying to get this. We're on vacation for the holidays. And uh, which probably some of this news happened earlier in the week. If anything, yeah. if anything big broke so over good. the holidays, then we missed it. Yeah. You'll get it next week. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, all right. I mean, Thanksgiving. I mean, we're eating some fried turkey, being thankful for things. What are you thankful yeah. for, Doug? I am thankful for the proliferation of geekdom that we get to partake in in this True. latter part of our lives, <clears throat> since, especially since 2015 with the resurgence of Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah. Um, Where we're going to get Star Wars every year from yeah. here for the rest of our lives? I hope so. Yeah. Sweet, it's awesome. Uh, I'm thankful for uh, all of you guys supporting us and getting <laughs> us where we are right now, almost a year in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what's up. <laughs> Thank all you to right. all the fans, yeah. Crystal Game Master fans, Ruby fans, all of you guys. Really appreciate the support. Uh, what Warner Brothers would be thankful for would be. A little bit more money. A little bit more money breaking even with their Justice League. Oh my God. <clears throat> now. If you haven't, there's been some great reviews of Justice League out there. One of them on this very channel. You should go check that out. Yeah. To see what we thought of it. But needless to say, what we thought about it didn't help this movie at all. No. Um, opened at $93 million, Yeah. Uh, which is, you know. Not great. In for any other movie would be <laughs> amazing, $93 million. But when you spend all the, mo the money they spent... When you had to spend like twenty three million dollars to digitally replace a mustache, <laughs> yeah. when it costs like fifteen bucks to have makeup put a mustache on somebody, yeah, that's an issue. Um, yeah. We there was a great report that came out about every all the costs, a big breakdown from a Hollywood insider uh, about how movies make their money, right? Mm -hmm. What percentage of the box office the studios get, and basically it broke down. Justice League would have to make six hundred million worldwide in order to break even. Wow. Uh, which, you know... If That's a big gamble on a franchise that already has two strikes against them. Right. Well, I mean, I don't think they planned on making this gamble. I think they made this gamble when they were already $300 million in. Well, and possibly. And tragedy yeah. struck, and they had to do something. Yeah. You could either punt at that point, or you could try and save it, right? Mm -hmm. And $600 million is not a stretch. I mean, there's been, there were four superhero movies that reached that mark this year. Yeah. Uh, but Justice League will probably not be one of them. Right. Uh, looking, it just hit a hundred million domestically Tuesday, right? Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <I> took, <laughs> yeah. I mean, and even worse news for it is it looks like uh, Fandango's tracking has Coco currently poised to take the number one spot this week. So the second week out. Yeah, Coco's getting a lot of positive word yeah. of mouth. It's, it's bro broken records in Mexico. It's a huge deal. Yep. Yeah, so Coco looks to be huge, and look, Coco looks to be taking the weekend box office. So if it can't even stay number one two weeks in a row, it was hoping for this holiday weekend, right? Right. Yep. To uh, to give it that boost, but uh, it doesn't look like it's going to make it. In fact, it's on track. If things go as predicted, now this doesn't include merchandising and a few other things. <clears throat> excuse me, but it looks like it's poised to lose anywhere between fifty and a hundred million dollars when everything's said and done. Uh, which is, which is, uh, it's frustrating because this is uh, this was another win as far as quality of the movie. For yeah, them. I mean, so it's two movies in a way row better that than Batman versus on. Superman. Way better than Suicide Squad. Yeah, it had issues, but we really enjoyed this movie. Yeah, I thought it was a good movie. I mean, so. losing a hundred million dollars—that's yeah, like yeah, four digitally removed mustaches. <laughs> you know, right there. <laughs> So, <laughs> just saying. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, you may have heard earlier in the week that Joss Whedon was losing his spot as director of Batgirl, but we uh, found out later on Wednesday that it no, the studio said no. In fact, he is still on Batgirl. Yeah. The reports um, came amid his personal <clears throat> personal life problems. Yeah. Uh, from the ex-wife uh, allegations and basically the blowback from the Justice League again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so we'll see how that... Uh, I mean, we'll see if this stays 
constant. Sometimes you get these responses from from a studio because news got ahead of them. And they want to they want to control the narrative. So they're right. no no no. It's everything's hunky dory. And then you know a, a week. Two weeks, a month See, later. See, Ben no, Affleck no, no. is Batman all of last year. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So, so we'll see whether or not he'll still be on it uh, yeah. when it all shakes out. We'll see what happens. It, it, he would, I would have no problem believing this if Justice League was a hit, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah. But over on the other side of the, of the aisle there, yeah. the, person, the company that doesn't seem to have problems <laughs> making superhero movies or hitting a $600 million mark. Yeah. Marvel, uh, blow my oh, sorry, DC. <laughs> I believe Justice League deserved better, but uh, looks like an actor's in talks to be in the new Captain Marvel movie, playing none other than Marvel, the original yeah. Captain Marvel, yeah, and that's none other than Jude Law. Interesting choice, yeah, interesting yeah. choice. I think he'd be awesome with this, yeah. I, I mean, like Jude Law, this lot. came the rumors were that it was uh, the role was Keanu Reeves to lose. And uh, I think he passed on it. So instead of Keanu Reeves, they're going with Jude Law. Interesting. I'm glad because I think, and obviously we don't have any story elements, but right. I'm hoping that we get a Marvel who's already, you know, kind of like a mentor role. Yeah, that's, that's, all, that's what you he know, would be. An older Jude Law can hold that gravitas. To be like, oh, I'm an experienced. Uh, Keanu Reeves is not, I mean. Well, I know. He just <clears throat> he doesn't strike me as that kind of a. He doesn't have that gravitas to him. Mm. I, love, I love his Keanu Reeves, so. Yeah. But I think it, Jude Law is the better choice. Yeah. All right. Um, in more Disney news, Disney Pixar, that is, John Laster is taking a leave of absence amid allegations of misconduct. Uh, it is it's saying something when these have made it over. To the House of Mouse, well, and you know, Pixar. Not yeah, tradition. not just someone. I mean, yeah, John the, Lasseter, the big, the Mr. big wig. Pixar. Yeah, this is interesting. Uh, um, I and you know, he took he's taking a six month leave of absence. You think um, he's actually coming back? Uh yeah, we'll see. Disney's Disney's response to him, their his supporting the idea of him taking this. I honestly, I just heard about this Wednesday, and I didn't hear a lot of the details, so I'm not exactly sure what the allegations are. Mm -hmm. um, from what I heard, like uh, again, I'm saying this was very brief and not a, a whole lot of detail, but they seemed comparatively mild to what has been out there. Well, there's so. there's definitely a hierarchy of inappropriate behavior out there, right. uh, and yes, I mean any of it is none of it is good. Right. right. None of it is, you know, but as far, I mean, there is definitely levels. Right. right? Anyone who yeah. says it's all the same, you know, is not facing reality. There are different <laughs> levels of this. Uh, now, early reports said that R Rashida Jones and uh, the writing team for Toy Story 4 walked out because of this. She later came back and said that's not, no, the, that's case. not the case. That's not yeah. the case. They left for creative differences. <clears throat> but then again, if, you know, anyone has the money to keep things... Uh, <laughs> on the D down low, it's it's Disney. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. All right. Well, I man, I'm swear to God, it's, this is wearing on me, man. All the yeah, the inappropriate, all the Hollywood touching. Well, and that's that's something that we there's definitely you're hearing in the news cycle some concern about. Are we going to see fatigue on this where people start stop caring, right, um, and then start ignoring really big issues or and and heaven forbid like i mean everyone needs to be heard about this but it, are we going to see cases of people coming out and making false accusations at this yeah. point right i mean well there are people who say that that's already happening uh, but yeah who knows? i mean who knows i mean <coughs> some people are denying it i mean special Stallone's denying his accusations no. and his ex-wife who he doesn't have a good relationship with Brigitte nielsen yeah. came out and defended him because she was married to him at the time this was supposed to happen oh, okay and uh said it couldn't happen so you know, all right. So okay. they were in their new, their newlywed phase at that time. So oh right, okay. She knew where he was at all times after the you know on set. So right, yeah. And when you know your ex comes out to defend you, maybe there's you know. <laughs> right, yeah. You know, just saying. All right. Okay. Uh, but also in the house of mouse. Talking about the Disney's money, making all the money. Uh, a franchise oh, that is paying for itself 
over and over again in Star yes, Wars. Is, yeah. Uh, Last Jedi is poised. Uh, the tracking numbers came out this week, and it's poised for an Im- very impressive two hundred million dollar opening. Uh, it's conservative. They're saying that it does have a chance of hitting Force Awakens numbers, which were ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And when we say it's less than Force Awakens, which was two hundred forty-eight million, almost two hundred fifty million right. opening, that was double just, what Thor made. Yeah, that's in just weekend. ridiculous numbers, yeah. right? For an opening weekend. Yeah, you know, uh, that's you know two and a half times what Justice League's made. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, 200 million opening for The Last Jedi is very impressive and proves that Star Wars is here to stay. Mm-hmm. So that's yay. Yay, Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we also got a teaser for The Incredibles 2. <clears throat> and it has become the most viewed animation trailer of all time with over 113 million views. And it's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's good. Little Jack Jack. Yep, Jack Jack powers. using his powers. And. Doing, uh, it's amazing. Just doing what a baby would do. <laughs> when you shoot lasers out of your eyes and you see those in front of you, you try chasing it. It was, it was awesome. <laughs> it I was love it. Good. I am super excited for this movie. It also confirms the fact that uh, Incredibles 2 is probably going to take pick up immediately where Incredibles 1 left off. Oh, right. Okay. Which, being animation, you can do that. Yeah. You, know? yeah. So, you don't have to worry about it. And it left off on a cliffhanger with the underminer. Oh, yeah. It's like, <laughs> I may be below you, but nothing is beneath me. <laughs> Underminer. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, right. And continuing on with the House of Mouse and their news, uh, James Gunn has teased on Twitter this week that Adam Warlock may not be in Guardians 3. He is, he's always, James Gunn is very, uh, you know, prolific with his uh, online media. You know, right. he does Facebook Live. Mm. He always does behind the scenes and keeps the fans informed of what's going on. And apparently, you know, he, he didn't outright say it, but he did point out that he never said Adam Warlock would be in Guardians 3. He said, who knows how long he'll take to bake in his cocoon. Oh, right. And that he's, even though he's a big fan, we're not sure when exactly we're going to see Adam Warlock in the Marvel Universe. Which is... Interesting. You know, and reports came out right afterwards that he was the, the big person, the big bad guy in right, 3. Yeah. So I don't know what what's changed along the way, but I mean... Yeah. I trust in James Gunn, so... Yeah, he but, hasn't let us down so far, yeah. so... All right, and in comics news to wrap us up, Doomsday Clock number one reveals that Rorschach is not Walter Kovacs. I think we called it, didn't we? Yeah. We're talking about the or, possible ways? I think we, what we said was, if, it's, if it is him, it will be horrible, so it better be something else. Right. And yes, in fact, there is a slight reveal uh, under his gloves. He's revealed to be an African American. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know who that leaves open. Um, yeah. They, they, there's probably, speculation that he is someone that we will recognize. Someone we'll know from the DC the, universe. It's the kid who was reading the pirate novels. Oh, it could be. Could be the kid reading the pirate novels. Uh, That's my guess. Yeah. Mark I mean, it. Mark it down, everybody. Doomsday Clock Number One reveals a lot of things. I mean, like. Uh, you know, Vite is in there, although he's got a brain tumor at this point. And no. he's scared of Rorschach, but he already says that he's not, this guy's not as violent as Rorschach. Oh, okay. Prefers pancakes to beans. Uh, <laughs> and then he revealed that he's, you know, he's a black guy underneath that, so he's not, he's okay. not the red-headed, freckled guy. All right. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. I'm not, right now, comics is kind of letting me down, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, just, I don't, I'm not, I'm not as excited to check out comics as I have been in the past, so yeah, I mean, yeah, it's very hit or miss. There are certain. I don't want to go on to necessarily a huge rant, but comics, but the comics have become too event, or at least for Marvel and DC, event driven. So event driven that you know the the average fan can't just go. I you know I want to be into this this person, right. this one comic, and just and then expect to have complete stories that aren't. You know, interrupted with these giant crossover events and stuff right. like that. So I'm just, you know, yeah, I'm kind of. I also hear there's a lot of confusion with legacy numbers. Uh, if you remember right, the 90s when the heroes image took over Marvel for a year and with the heroes reborn, mm-hmm. they reset all of the book numbers to one. Oh, okay. From there, and then now with the legacy, they're going back to where they left off before. So, 
we have a 20 year period of comic book numbers here that's kind of did they add the two numbers together or they literally no, went they back literally to, went the, back to, to whatever, the next number to the they next number on. they left off on that's interesting so you know and then it's causing a lot of confusion i mean if you're trying to follow a series especially younger if you weren't around in the 90s collecting comics all of a sudden like what how why did this you know <laughs> how did i miss 100 issues yeah <laughs> exactly what's what happened here so a little confusing i mean yeah i don't know i like I said, I will always love comics, so I will sure I'll get back into something or maybe mm-hmm. take a break from the big two and read some more independence. Valiant. Lots of great ones out there. So. Valiant stuff is really good. So, yeah. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for us this week. Sorry, yeah. it's a short one, but we've got yeah. turkey to eat. And uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we will see you again next week with all your nerd news uh, as we wrap it up and give you our opinion on it, whether you want it or not. <laughs> What's going on? Mm. If you haven't already please like and subscribe to this channel if you want to support the channel you can do it in a number of ways including a direct support through our patreon link down below or through our amazon affiliate link uh yes. down below as well anything you purchase through amazon through that link whether it's what the links to or anything else you know it will help support the channel and us here and the things we do we appreciate it thank you guys and we'll see you next week thank you bye